So the 6th of January, I can see there's a brand new update being pushed to my device. This update will be pushed to all of your Fire Sticks, Fire TVs, all of your Amazon devices. And it's going to be a complete redesign of your entire home screen. Now, Amazon, in their infinite wisdom, have made lots of changes in the past, particularly with changes to the UI. They've moved things around. They've changed icons. They've hidden things. Lots of stuff has happened over the last few years, but this is what I'd call a complete redesign or a massive overhaul to the home screen that you're used to seeing. So let's give this a minute and let's see if my third generation Fi TV Cube has this new update. And I'll also double check three of the key settings that keep on being reset every time Amazon push an update because their interest is data collection, their interest is data monitoring. So even though I have those options set to off, they always seem to magically turn back on after there's an update. So we'll double check those settings as well. So, and my device is now restarting. So let's give that a second. Now I know lots of you, especially when I do videos like this on the Fire Stick, leave comments like I've now jumped over to the on device or dumping the Fire Stick was the best thing I ever did in 2025. Uh, but at the same time, I know the majority of you, the silent majority are still sticking with Fire Sticks for now until maybe the key applications that you are using become blocked or until the device just packs it in. So I do think for the majority of you, I know you are sticking with Fire Stick. And I do believe that the majority of my audience are still Amazon Fire Stick users. I know lots of you have jumped over, but in terms of percentages, I would say more than 50% of you are still using Amazon devices. My device has restarted and I can see straight away, I don't have this new update. So let's double check the settings. Let's click on that now. Go to my Fire TV and we can see my device as of the 6th of January is running update 7.71.0 with that particular subversion of 6003. So, so I haven't got the new home screen just yet, but if I just show you what the home screen looks like, this is what the current screen looks like. So you can see you've got the standard shortcuts here for your inputs, for your profile, for search, for home, live TV, and then my stuff. Then you've got your quick actions or your shortcut buttons here. So one, two, three, you've got six of those that you can access. Now what this new layout will look like if I just jump over to that now. So this is the brand new layout that will be pushed to all devices very, very soon. You can see that we've gone for the material design. We can see the icons at the top. You've got your home icon up here. Then you've got section for movies, TV shows, sports. This one is going to be for your news. And next to that is going to be your live TV. You'll see in the home section, you'll have the continue watching right at the top here or some of the stuff that you're recently watching. Then you can see an entire bar for your shortcuts. So instead of having just six shortcuts to your applications, you can see they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe it's even 11. So a lot more direct access to your favorite application. So instead of scrolling down or going to your application library or just moving around from the home page, very quickly, you can just press down once, then you'll be able to quickly access your favorite applications here. So in that way, it should work a little bit smoother, a little bit quicker, and allow you to quickly get to your favorite content or your favorite applications. Then you've got the sports section, so you can see lots of uh, live sports, live channels. And in terms of speed, they claim it's between 20 and 30% faster than the current Fire TV UI. So in that way, everybody should be happy with a more responsive, faster home screen. And this is the official announcement posted on the Amazon blog where we can see that your new Fire TV user interface gets a brand new design. And the key takeaways are that you get a much faster, more streamlined home screen with dedicated homes for each of your content types, for your news, for your sports, movies, TV shows. They will now have a dedicated section. Now you also get the new AI powered, the A word plus. And what this basically means is you can now use your voice and say, go to this particular section of a particular movie or TV show and take me directly there. So not just like basic stuff like open up Netflix or open up Prime, open up Disney. You can actually say, I want to watch this show on Disney Plus at this particular point, at this particular scene with these people talking. So that kind of specific request, this should now be able to answer because of AI and take you directly to your content. So that'll be very interesting to see when that does go live because it will be quite impressive that you can just use your voice and say that this is that people in the US spend 12 minutes on average searching for what to watch up from 10 minutes in 2023. So it's just just because I guess there's just so much content available now, just the sheer volume of libraries and different applications and different um, sources of content because of that. 
you could say endless entertainment because of that you can't just spend a long time scrolling or trying to find stuff to watch but with this newer design this newer update you should be able to find your content a little bit quicker and here we can see they are increasing the number of apps you can pin to your home screen from 6 to 20 so again just quicker access to your favorite applications you can see that the fire tv app is also being improved now so get some new features you can see the content that you're watching on your screen you can find out more information about the actors you can add things into your favorites into your watch list and control all of that from your phone and of course use that as a backup remote control so lots of interesting features lots of interesting updates for the people that are sticking with the amazon platform so after every update i do recommend that you go over to your settings go to where it says preferences click on that click on privacy go to manage sharing from applications and make sure this is set to off because we don't want to share any information about any applications that we are using back to amazon make sure that's off then you got these three things down here the device usage data collect app usage data interest based ads make sure all of these are set to off now you would have noticed that there was a, a cookie consent option here but amazon have now removed that from the latest fight tv update so if you want to turn off your cookies which i do recommend because if those cookies are on that means amazon is collecting data about your browsing habits about your usage habits and those habits are now being shared with third parties with marketing companies with other advertisers and we really don't want that because why would i want amazon sharing my private data with these other third parties so to turn that off just go over to the amazon website go to your content and devices and you then see all of the devices registered to your amazon account and you can see when i click on a device i now see the option here for cookie consent so this is now the only place where you can turn off this cookie consent because you can now no longer do it directly on the device anymore so i do recommend double check your devices and definitely turn this off because we don't want to share our cookies with any third party that Amazon decides they want to. So once you've confirmed that setting is turned off, you can then carry on using your device and then just wait for this brand new update. And last, if you are just looking for the best way to keep your device secure, to make sure that nobody can track you, make sure your ISP can't throttle you and slow your connection down, using a VPN is essential for the year 2026, allows you to change your IP address, allows you to access geo-locked content, and really is just the best way to keep your device as safe and secure as possible. And I think it just adds to the great list of features that already IPVanish offer, including those unlimited devices, unlimited bandwidth, superb speed, clients available for all of your favorite platforms, and really just the best way to keep yourself protected and safe and secure in 2026. I've used IPVanish now for, I think, just over five years. I have tried other VPNs in the past, like NordVPN, like Express, even Surfshark. They all have some good features, but overall, I always come back to IPVanish just because of the extensive list of great features and that consistent, dependable speed. So because of that, this is the only VPN I recommend. Using my link does help support the channel. So many thanks for doing that. Do have a look in the video description and pinned comment if you want to take up this special offer for January 2026. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.